Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can combine changes made by multiple Excel users. We are going to be using the example of a budget for an event and we're going to have three different Excel users working on different parts of the budget and then combine their changes into a finished budget. We're going to be using tools that you find on the review tab of the ribbon. We're going to be sharing copies of a master budget. We're going to be sharing these locally. In other words, the techniques that I'm demonstrating do not require you to be hooked up or connected to a server. All right, let's get going. Let me close down this workbook and I'll come over here on to the event budget. So notice that no numbers are added in here. In order to share this I go to the review tab of the ribbon and over here in the changes group I select the share workbook command. There are two tabs in the dialog box. Here's the important box. Make sure that you select this box to allow changes by more than one user at the same time. This will also allow us to merge the workbook. So presently, I'm the only one using this workbook. I want to be able to share this with my colleagues. I also want to allow sufficient time. I'm not sure how long it's going to take Alice, Bob, and Claire to finish this. So let's make it 120 days that I can save the change history. Click OK. The next step is to make multiple copies of this workbook that we've just enabled sharing for. Now to save time I've already made those copies but I would go office button save as and then give them different names. So I've given the names of Alice, Bob, and Claire. Let's open up Alice's. So come over here and let's select Alice's workbook which was the copy of the master. Alice has already started to put in some budget and actual numbers. Let's put a few more in here. Alright, we don't have to do more than that but let's save those changes. Now here's the gotcha step. We must close Alice's workbook before we can merge it in to the master. The second gotcha step is that the command button that we need is not to be found on the ribbon. So we need the command compare and merge workbooks added to the quick access toolbar. You do it this way. Click the drop down menu, come in to more commands, and then the filter that we want commands not in the ribbon. It's alphabetical, so we want to find and then add over the compare and merge workbooks. All right, it's been added over here. Now we want to use that command button. We want to add in those changes from Alice. So it first saves the workbook, and then we must go in and locate the workbook. So here's Alice, and now watch what happens. Now magically, Alice's numbers get added in there. All right, now let's do some work on Bob's part. So office button, and we want to open up Bob's part of the budget. So Bob is working on this part down here. All right, that's good enough. Make sure that you save it, and then make sure that you close it. So now we're back here with our master budget and we want to be able to add in Bob's part. Once again, come over here to the but button that we added to the quick access toolbar. It saves the master budget and now we come in and we locate Bob. So now we want to integrate Bob's part of the budget. Now, of course, the final one is going to be Claire. So let's save this just to make sure that we're doing that. Let's come back and let's open up Claire's part of the budget. So Claire is working over here in this part of the budget. And again, let's just put in some placeholder numbers. She's a good negotiator, but she's not so good with travel. All right, let's save her changes. Close it. Remember to close it. Before we can merge it in, we must close it. So we're back here working on our master budget. Notice that it is in a shared environment. And once again, that gotcha step, you have to add the compare and merge workbook buttons to the quick access toolbar. Click it. Select 
the workbook that we want to add in. And again, remember, these were all copies that I made of my master after I had uh, used the review tab to add in sharing. So there's Claire, there's Bob, and now there's Alice. So any changes that get made, let's go back and make a couple of changes to Alice. Let's open up Alice. We'll just change one number. Room went up to 5,000 as the estimate, and she actually had to spend 5,500. All right, let's save it. Close it. Click the command on the Quick Access Toolbar from the master. Remember, the master is the only one opened up. We once again come down, we'll find Alice, and now it gets added in there. So you see how easy it is to add those workbooks from multiple people into a merged workbook. Now, don't confuse this with a concept that is close, but not the same thing. On the data menu, consolidate. Consolidate combines worksheets. What we did over here with the compare and merge on the review tab is we merged in complete workbooks. So even though I was only using one worksheet to illustrate it, when we use the share the workbook and distribute it, then we can merge in multiple copies of an entire workbook. All right, I covered a lot in that lesson. I think you're going to find that useful, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.